Hey, Sparky. Do you know how black holes are born? No, teacher. How can something like that even form? It starts with a massive star, at least eight times heavier than our sun. Inside, nuclear fusion turns hydrogen into helium, then heavier elements all the way up to iron. But iron can't release energy by fusion. Once iron builds up, the core collapses. Teacher, why can't iron release energy? Because iron is the most stable element. Fusion works for lighter elements, but with iron, there's no extra energy to give. The outer layers then explode outward in a huge supernova. What's left depends on the core's mass. Smaller ones become neutron stars, but heavier ones collapse under gravity with no force strong enough to stop it. That collapse squeezes everything into a single point, forming a black hole. And once it exists, an event horizon appears, a boundary where not even light can escape. Black holes are born from dying stars, but studying them could reveal how the universe works. Got more questions? Ask me next time.